Hi Aquarius, welcome to your August love reading. I hope you guys are all doing great out there. Welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Now in today's reading, I'm gonna see who comes through for you in matters of love and find out how they feel about you, their intentions towards you and their next actions. And I'll also see if there's any hidden challenges that are creating delays for you guys moving forward. I'm gonna pull a seven card spread and then I'll clarify as I move forward. Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius in love? for August 2022. Who's coming through for them today? And what's their message? Aquarius, love, August 2022. Who's coming through for Aquarius this month? Who's got feelings for Aquarius? And what's the situation? Aquarius, August 2022, love. What's going on? One more shuffle. Let's rock this deck for my awesome Aquarians. Okay, seven cards. First card out is the Ace of Cups. Some of you guys have brand new love coming through here or someone offering a new start with you. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be a water sign. The Fool, major icon for Aries, but as a reader, I also see it as Aquarius energy. Someone having the freedom to choose a new path for themselves and that path is leading them to you. Not to sound cheesy or anything like that, but someone is like wanting a new beginning with you, okay? The Wheel of Fortune, wow. Now the Wheel of Fortune is all about fated events. Expect the unexpected, okay? Because the Wheel of Fortune represents um, a situation that's coming up that the universe is orchestrating. You have very little free will when the Wheel of Fortune shows up. So if anyone has been like delaying taking some sort of opportunity or delaying being emotionally vulnerable, the Wheel of Fortune comes in to shake things up, to remove some blockages. I mean, I like to joke and call the Wheel of Fortune card my universal Drano, <laughs> right? So if someone's been very slow to open up or move a connection further along, the universe, you know, makes things move, makes big, bold moves. All right, four more cards. Page of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. The Hermit, Major Arcana for Virgo. And the Six of Swords. Overall energy on the bottom, the world. Wow, this is beautiful. And then we have the moon, we have the hierophant, we have the ace of wands, the page of wands. Shoot. Someone may have gone through a challenging time in the recent past, but now that is being released and there's like a dawn of a new era here, a dawn of a new day. And the fact that I have the overall energy being the world when this is the final card in the tarot deck, the fool's journey, and we have the fool card right here signifying a new beginning is beautiful. Okay, you have someone coming through here, Aquarius, that's a part of your new chapter. All right, you may have closed a chapter with that Ten of Swords, and now you're opening up a new one, rewriting your new experiences, starting over. And with that moon energy being here, for some, you may not have met this person yet. They are still hidden from you, and they're coming to the surface in August. And for others, you may be dealing with someone that kept their emotions hidden from you, but what's beneath the surface is the fact that they do want a higher level of commitment with you with the Hierophant showing up, Major Arcana for Taurus. This is someone that's keeping faith that something's gonna work out favorably for them, but they may have been keeping their intentions to themselves. Okay, but the world card is a completion. It's mastering some area of your life. All right, it's beautiful. And the fact that I got the Ace of Wands coming through and the Page of Wands, this is, this is a new, new beginning and a chance for someone to feel rejuvenated all over again, feeling re-inspired, feeling like, you know, any challenges that they've gone through in the past is now in the past and they're not being haunted by the ghost anymore. All right, someone may have needed to release an ex from the picture or make a very tough decision in a third party situation, okay? But it looks like that is being released in the past. Someone is healing from it and starting a new chapter. This is beautiful. This is one of the most beautiful readings I've done for you guys in a while, in regards to love anyways, because your monthly was cool. Now, Looking at that Six of Swords in the outcome position, it's showing me um, you and another person coming out 
of a difficult time and moving into a more calming place. Whether you guys were having a rough patch together or you individually were going through a very stressful times in your own lives. And coming together in August, this is, this is like a big sigh of relief. Feeling like you just, you know, beat a really big storm and now it's the, the calm after. All right, it's the calm after. And um, that Wheel of Fortune, that Wheel of Fortune card is also telling me that perhaps you are connecting with someone that you've experienced a past life with. Because when you look at the Wheel of Fortune card in other tarot decks, you will see a serpent, the head of a serpent, eating his own, his own tail in a circle uh, fashion, which is indicating like something coming back around, a death or a rebirth a chance to do something differently again, okay? So you might have karma with someone from a past life and in this lifetime you guys are meant to clear that karma so that way you guys can start over, wipe the slate clean and have a beautiful connection that you guys always wanted to have without, you know, other challenges interfering. You could be connecting with a Virgo. I also have Libra coming through here. But with that Nine of Pentacles being here, I feel like I have an Aquarius that is currently single. You're not linked to anybody just yet. Someone has not put a ring on your finger is what I feel. And if you are currently in a long-term relationship or married, you're a very independent person. You're showing up as somebody that has worked very hard to get where you're at right now and you're not going to allow anybody to come into your life to disrupt the work that you've achieved whether you've been working on your physical self, your emotional self, your spiritual self, or your, you know, financial. It's telling me that you've worked very hard to get where you're at right now, and you want someone to come in your life that's gonna add value and not take, you know, anything from this, from you. And I'm looking at this beautiful woman here. There are no genders in my readings, no genders, but I am getting this feminine energy coming through here that may have um, recently just got their hair changed, changed up their wardrobe, and just did a whole 180 in their life, cleansing out the old energy. All right, like, like saying goodbye to a lot of different, you know, past experiences. Like you did a whole 180. You opened up all your windows in your home and just did a huge, cleanse and like donated old clothes you know changed your hairstyle just wanting just a fresh new start overall to feel the weight of the world lifted because sometimes when we keep clothing in our closet that is you know attached to memories of other connections people people's energy can attach themselves to our clothing so if you have an outfit that you wore all the time with an ex that you went through some tough times with I, I almost feel like you are going to be donating those or, or doing something with them to, to freshen up your, your home space, okay? I don't know who needed to hear that, but I felt like I needed to bring that up. That's so odd for me to bring up. So I'm going to start clarifying, but I do see where there is a beautiful new beginning that's about to take place between you and another person, but I strongly feel like a lot of you Aquarians are more falling in love with yourself all over again, and by doing that, your heart chakra is being activated, and it's like attracting someone towards you, because how you feel about yourself in the inside attracts your external. So if you're over here like loving up on yourself, feeling like you are the shiznit and you just are, you're fine on your own because you love yourself, that's going to attract someone who's going to see that same image of you that you see in yourself. And that, that releases a lot of karma too. All right, allows you to have a fresh new beginning in your life. You're, you're like passing some sort of lesson, Aquarius, is what I feel. All right, and you're being rewarded. So let me get a couple clarifiers. I have the King of Swords on the bottom here. But I'm strongly feeling like there's something you needed to release, okay? Whether it's a person or, you know, trauma from your past, there's something you're releasing, okay? Why is that Ace of Cups here? Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading, Aquarius, the link to my website can be found in the description box below with this video. But I also um, do a YouTube membership where I pull cards every Saturday for as many members as I can, up to four times a month for the cost of a cup of coffee, all right? 
and we have a fun community. Why is that Ace of Cups here? Why is that Ace of Cups here? The Seven of Cups. You've got opportunities opening up for you left and right. I don't feel like this is just connected to love, Aquarius. I feel like because of all the work that you're doing on yourself, you're attracting more opportunities left and right, okay? I'm, I'm serious. The more work you do on yourself in your healing, that's when you're gonna see the divine open up all these opportunities that you never even thought were available to you. Whether in work, new friendships, new goals, personal achievements, love of your life, okay? You're getting a lot of, um, you're getting a lot of like healing energy brought through this reading today. I feel like you've got a lot of support from ancestors, guides, people that have passed on that are watching you right now. It's just like you're, you're leveling up in a big, beautiful way and it's attracting a life partner. It's attracting a life partner when the Hierophant comes in, in my readings. And it's a faded person, someone that you're destined to meet. Whether you already know who this person is right now, Aquarius, or you're about to meet them, this is someone that was fated to enter your life, okay? You guys have a spiritual contract to meet each other. Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here? The moon. And look, look, look at the connection I just made. I got the world card here with the moon, and I said that this new opportunity may have been hidden to you, or this person's feelings have been hidden to you. And then clarifying the, the fool, I got the moon. Okay? It's all connecting. Whatever is hidden beneath the surface is going to be revealed to you because the Wheel of Fortune comes in to activate positive changes for your highest good. It's always for your highest good when the Wheel of Fortune shows up. You could be connecting to a fixed sign, a Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or an Aquarius like yourself. But with that Ten of Pentacles now showing up, I have someone coming through here that's meant to be in your life for 10 plus years if you want them. You've got the free will. They're gonna do the dirty work to get this connection you know, orchestrated where you guys bump into each other or realign with each other if you already know them but it's your free will that's going to co-sign whether or not this is someone that you want to share the rest of your life with ten of pentacles it's going to be up to you and look justice good karma being treated fairly coming in with someone that's going to have their heart open and available to you okay it's like you're being rewarded for turning your back on people that are not good for you, people that hurt you, people that don't see your worth, and you focusing on seeing your worth is just attracting people who are just gonna see exactly what you see. It, we, we connect with mirror images of ourselves, all right? Everybody that we come in contact with, Aquarius, is a direct reflection of ourselves, something that we need to work on or something that Spirit's wanting to show us about ourselves so we can acknowledge it. All right, and I feel like um, I'm so freaking proud of you guys. This is this is this is beautiful energy. Not one negative card came through here. The only negative cards I see are the ones that are coming in from what you've already walked away from. Okay, can I get a card in that Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit, the Emperor? That's a husband. That's a father. And if you are someone that is looking for a feminine energy or well we all carry masculine feminine energy but this could be your wife your girlfriend someone that you can take with you to your your future and you look how this this uh emperor looks like he's all sluggish and cozy on that couch normally when you look at the emperor you see someone standing up ready to take some sort of action but in this art depiction this emperor looks cozy and content so you have someone coming through here that's going to feel completely comfortable with you not wanting to ever get off of that couch and look elsewhere for love not saying they're never going to get off the couch you know what i mean they're going to feel so comfortable with you like you guys are like a perfect fit all right so <laughs> fat freaking cat is so cute this is a new deck of mine so I'm still learning the artwork it's so adorable all right can I get a card on that um, world can I get a card on that world card this is great page of wands and we already have the page of wands right here you guys are getting like good news or there's gonna be like this spark that you have with somebody in August and it's really gonna light up your life all right and 
I'm also getting a message that you are a light to somebody else after they've gone through a difficult experience. Because looking at this moon and then seeing the page of wands twice, it's like if you're dealing with someone that's in a dark place, you're just this one lit match that is able to light up the entire room for them. Okay. Can I get a card on that higher fit? Can I get a card on that higher fit? Can I get a card on that higher fit? The lovers! Major con for Gemini. Look at that. Aquarius, if you are single right now and you are focusing on your work, your healing, your goals, your personal achievements, you've got someone coming towards you who's going to reflect all of the hard work you've done on yourself to ascend, to level up, to ascend. But if there's someone in your life right now that you love unconditionally and you feel the love in return, you guys may end up getting married one day or you're already married and you guys are going in the right direction. This is beautiful. That's two people just freaking cuddling and just feeling so content and at peace with their life. So you've got someone else that is working on themselves as well. Like I said earlier, mirror image. Look at that. And on the bottom, I have the 10 of cups. Look, I've got two decks worth of cards out here and not one negative card came out. Not one. All right. Again, only the negative ones I saw were the ones that are been released by you. So let me get a hidden message. Um, you could be connecting with a fire sign. Leo Sagittarius Aries is coming through. I see strong Gemini, Pisces Cancer, Virgo, Libra, Aries, and Aquarius. But it could be anybody, all right? It's not about the zodiac signs. It's all about the energy someone's going to be embodying at the time you guys are engaging with each other, okay? Um, and Taurus is here too. Hidden message. I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about me now that you've had some time to reflect? Look at that. And I do see the hermit right here. Some of you guys may have needed to pull away a little bit to do some soul searching to figure out if this is someone meant for you or this is what someone did with you. Would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? You guys, I'm strongly getting the energy that someone here withdrew their energy a little bit just to figure out what they want and do some soul searching, do some inner healing, and now they're ready to be like, hey, are we, are we doing this? All right, this is a beautiful reading. So I hope this reading helps. If it did, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. If you would like to book a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box below this video, but I encourage you to join my YouTube membership if that's more costly effective for you because it's for $4.99 a month, the cost of a copy, a coffee, you get up to four chances to ask me a question, any question, just no legal advice, no health advice um, versus getting a 30 minute reading on my website. So do what you gotta do. I freaking love you guys. Namaste.